lot's happening, Panda Nation, Peter Bob Panda here. <laughs> I got a tent here, and this is unlike any tent that I've ever had before, so I'm excited to share it with you. Check, uh, check this thing out. I'm, as I unbox it here, I don't want to reveal the secret about this tent quite yet, but uh, I want to tell you about kind of my history with tents. I've uh, done a lot of camping in my day, and so when I was younger, we used to set up tents in the dark to learn to where the poles were and how to set everything up, and they can take a little while, even if you're pretty quick. This tent has potentially solved one of the toughest problems with tents, and that is setting it up quickly and conveniently. First of all, it comes in this very large nylon bag. It's made out of tent material, and there you can see the name, Moose Outdoors. Uh, this is a four-person tent, so it should be pretty big here. And as I unroll it, we have some instructions, which I may need. And first of all, you can see the tent is bundled up and the material on the outside here is really thick. It's kind of like a nylon tarp that you would put on the ground. So I think that's gonna be the bottom to protect you from any moisture. So in this instruction packet, looks like it comes with some patches here, black, gray, and blue, and then also some silicone or sealant, as well as some dots, I think, to plug any little holes. All right, another thing I want to show you here was we have two nylon pouches here, and one of them has tent stakes. Just your standard aluminum tent stakes. And then in this pouch, we have what I think is the big reveal. Voila! Look at this. This thing is a pump, and that is the big secret about this tent. So it looks like it's pretty big. It's actually kind of like a... 30 ounce water bottle size pump here. As you can see, we have the nozzle right there and then some flared bottoms here so that I think you can put this on the ground and pump it like this. Now, there also is a hose here, which I think you're gonna put this on. You can see that it uh, has some barbs to hold that on. So now we have what looks like about a two foot flexible hose. And then this end has not only the open end here, but then the conical end to fill up inflatables and that's important because if we take a look at the tent that I just unrolled here in many ways it looks just like a regular tent but as you can see here the secret that this tent has is no poles we have a couple openings here where I think either we're going to add air or release air so if I look at these openings here on this one we can kind of unscrew the top that's going to give us a really big opening there's a nice little silicone gasket all the way around here, so that's gonna hold air in. So I can screw that down. That's how you're gonna release the air. And then there's a smaller one on the top here, and it's square, and that unscrews too. And now we have a smaller hole, and it looks like attached to this uh, top one, there's a little bit of a valve. And so I think we're gonna pump the air in here, and uh, it should not release out. And then what we'll do is fill these tubes, which are, essentially the structure of the tent. Now the tubes are generally inside the whole fabric of the tent. So that's what's gonna hold the, the fabric out. And as the tent inflates, you won't see those tubes directly on the outside. They'll just be pushing kind of like any type of internal structure to a building. So I wanna get the pump set up and then let's start filling this thing up. Now what I wanna show you here is I've removed the smaller caps and we have a hole here, about a half an inch in diameter and this pump hose fits right in there and it fits pretty snug. So I'm gonna just pump it the way it is here. And hopefully, uh, especially as it's inserting air and that valve is trapping it in there, this thing should start to take some shape. All right, so that first pipe that I filled up here is kind of giving the tent most of its structure. Now I'm gonna take and open up that other valve and pump it that and see what it does to the rest of the tent. Wow, that's really cool. So filling up this pipe here is actually kind of this vestibule of the tent. So now you've got this fly that it sends out so you can store things in the, in the front without going into the tent. And if you look at it, you can pull out this, this portion of the ground cloth. And so my vestibule is going to have a nice dry spot too. Um, there are, on various parts of this tent, paracord lines here that are adjustable. They have a built-in um, draw strap here so you can hook in 
to the stake without it sliding around. Now I'm going to put in the stakes into the ground. Dude, how cool is this? First of all, the thing is pretty big. Um, I haven't staked out every corner. I was kind of staking out the, the corners here, the vestibule, um, the, the tent lines to just to kind of hold the tent in place. And, and obviously with any tent, wind is going to be a factor, but especially when, you know, all I have is air holding this tent up, you know, it's air being moved around by air, but I don't think any more susceptible to wind than a lot of other tents. And man, it looks cool. I mean, this looks like a real hot tent. This moose outdoors tent is pretty awesome. And as you can see there, there is the pump and it does whistle a little bit when you're pumping it up. But I also want to say here, as I pumped it up, you kind of don't feel like it's pumping up anything. And you're like, how long is this going to take? But then what you don't realize is that all, all of a sudden, like boom, like that, the whole thing is inflated. And uh, it's not because it's pushing the tent out. You kind of have to give it a little jiggle and it'll kind of go into its form. But as you're pumping it uh, and I got kind of full, it just ejected the hose from the pump. It just popped out because it was completely full. Now, a couple things I want to point out here. I don't know if there's plastic in here, but you can see we have a little stiff uh, prop here, which fixes to the top of the fly with this Velcro and that gives you a little bit of an air vent. Um, this is this whole fly here is external to the tent and if I open this up a little bit, let me see if I can get you a little bit of a peek there. You can see that the top of the tent is actually this like mosquito net mesh and that is the tent itself. So I'm gonna prop that up. I'm gonna keep that up because that's pretty clever to give you a little breeze, some breathing room in there. And then as you can see, we have fully enclosed outer uh, shell of the tent and again another vent right up here all right let's take a look inside our tent casa now like i said the vestibule here is really nice and velcro down here in the corners and you can open it up here which i'm going to do another velcro man this thing is like a fortress or like this and as you can see again that fly down here and that leads to our tent. So again, shoes, wet clothing, gear, your backpacks, you can leave all out here. And you can see here, a better look at the inflatable ridges, the pipes here that hold up the entire tent. Really, really cool. And you can almost see here that the tent is held up by these little grommets. So I could actually probably unclip this thing and just use the inflatable fly as a shelter too. I might not even need this tent. All right, so we got a big door here, orange paracord on it, and let's take a look inside. And here is the tent, man. Super cool. Man, it's really well lit. All right, so the inside of the tent is all just that mesh. And you can see that really durable, uh, you know, almost plastic like ground cloth is the bottom of the tent. We have, looks like a pocket here in the side so you can put some stuff on both sides here. And again, just that mesh. So this thing is gonna breathe really well and you can see again, those little eye hooks and grommets that hold the thing together. We also have a hook at the top so you can hang your lantern up there. I'd say, you know, I'm sitting right now and the camera's about eye level and the tent height is maybe a foot above my head here. So plenty of room and a really vertical wall, which is really nice too. And you can see here the look of the vestibule. I could almost have a little party in there. But in terms of a four person tent, I think when you look at those kinds of dimensions, what it's always measuring is, can you sleep four people shoulder to shoulder in here? And I think you could. So if I put my feet down here, you can see that I could probably put a person on my left here and a couple people on my right. I don't know that that would be the most comfortable thing in the world. It's going to be a little bit tight, but in a camping situation, it's probably going to be fine. What up? So you can see how that looks. But for a two person tent, this is going to be great. You're going to have a lot of room. And in fact, I picked up some sleeping bags that uh, should absolutely work perfect in this thing. You can see, I'll get a little breeze there, man. So nice and breezy in here. It will protect you from rain. It says that this is a low temperature tent, you know, um, below freezing. And because it's so airy, it also goes up to a high temp. I think this would be perfect in kind of that spring, fall, and even summer weather, you know, because it's so airy and breezy. Uh, but if it's really cold, I mean, <laughs> it could get pretty cold in here too. So I kind of think that uh, the openness 
if it gets really, really cold out, could be uh, maybe a little uncomfortable, but man, this is awesome. And it's perfect right now. I mean, I feel breeze in here just the way it's set up. So really cool. Moose outdoors. Look at this. I go right back out here, out of the tent. And man, that is super cool. And I guess my point is when I was a kid setting up tents, you know, you always had to be careful with them. You always had to make sure you didn't break a pole, lose a pole, miss stuff, not take stakes. Uh, the nice thing about this is other than the pump, everything you need is right attached to the tent. So you're not gonna lose anything. And if you're quick, I mean, obviously it doesn't take a lot of pumping. You know, you could probably set this thing up in a few minutes. Now, it took me a little longer than that, but man, how convenient is that to pump as opposed to threading poles through little sleeves on these things? Man, it's so cool. I dig it. Cannot wait to use this thing. I might just sleep in it tonight. I'll put a link to it in the description. Moose, inflatable tent. Awesome. Peter from Panda out.